aloe vera for digestion, uh, beets for juicing, oranges, kale, um, yams, ginger, avocados, apples, eggs, big thing of spinach, cashew milk, cashew yogurt, just a couple of them to maybe to put in my smoothies. Uh, I got some kombucha drinks, egg whites, I got some cauliflower, asparagus, cucumbers, alfalfa sprouts, red and orange bell pepper, uh, vine tomatoes, those are my favorite. Um, I got big carrots for juicing, little carrots for snacking, uh, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and celery for juicing. Then I also got lemons for my hot lemon water in the morning with my apple cider vinegar, um, as well as for juicing okay, sometimes. So I just took some new before pictures, because I took some in Washington, and then I just took some again, and <sighs> I have even more work to do than I thought. It's crazy, and I've decided I don't think I'm gonna post them on Instagram yet, you guys. I have to make a few, like four weeks progress and do something impressive first before I post these, or I will probably lose all of my followers. I'm not joking, people will be like, oh. I cannot believe I let myself get back to this point, you guys. And please, you guys, don't, please save the comments of, you need to be happy with yourself, and you look good, I, and, and or whatever. Like, um, you guys, set a higher standard for yourself. That's what I've done. And I have a very high standard of myself. And when I do not meet that, yes, I may be a little hard on myself, but maybe more people need to be more hard on themselves. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then they would accomplish their goals and their dreams. Uh, I have a very high standard for myself and I do not think that's a bad thing at all. Um, maybe a little overboard sometimes, but uh, but I, I, I know what I'm capable of. I know I can do anything I set my mind to, so I don't accept average. And right now, I'm average, and it's not okay. It's not okay. So, I'm changing it, because I have the power to do that. So I'm changing it, but I am not gonna show you guys my pictures until a little while. So, I thought I was going to, I even wrote a big long caption for it and everything, I was gonna do it on Monday, and I out there I can do it. So, not there yet. <laughs> my first day back into the gym. It's Tuesday. I wasn't feeling too hot Saturday or Sunday or Monday. I'll explain why later. But uh, just got about 30 minutes done of cardio, burned about 211 calories. Now I'm gonna go lift some shoulders and back and maybe do about 10, 15 more minutes more of cardio afterwards. And then I'm gonna head upstairs to my apartment, make my morning smoothie, and tell you guys what's been going on with me. Stay tuned. Okay, here's everything I'm using. Basil, alfalfa sprouts, chia seeds, collagen protein, some kale, ginger, 
uh, some turmeric, L-glutamine, some carrots, and flaxseed. And as my base, I will put in some cucumber. sugar, dairy, alcohol, coffee, and processed food this weekend. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. The the symptoms, the withdrawals were worse than coming off of cocaine. I'm not even joking. And I've done that. And it was horrible. But this was worse. I promise you. Um, it was awful. And I had the chills. I had the sweats. I had nausea. I had diarrhea. I had all kinds of crazy shit going on with my body. It was nuts. And um, I almost felt like caving in and giving in and going and getting something bad to eat because I was craving it so bad and I didn't want to feel this way anymore, but I didn't because this ain't my first rodeo. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, no, Kate, you gotta stick it out. And I did. And I'm so glad I did because today, it's Tuesday, I feel amazing. I just got in my first workout today, cardio and weights. Burned almost 500 calories. I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, I feel good. I feel mentally good. I feel clear. I feel my clear-headed. I feel happy. Um, of course, I'm not happy where my body's at right now, but that's okay because I'm going to get to where I want to be. I'm not concerned. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about time frame. I'm not worried about scale. I haven't even been on scale. I don't know how much I weigh. I don't care to know how much I weigh, but it's going to come off. That's all I know. Um, I'm just really, really happy. I haven't felt this joyous and happy in months, and I um, have did. A, I spent the weekend doing a lot of research, and I've kind of come to the conclusion that I think I'm dealing with a leaky gut, and um, and I have bad gut health. So um, in my next video, I think I'm going to talk about leaky gut and gut health. But for now, um, go research it. If you if you want a really clear explanation of it, go uh, YouTube Dr. Josh Axe, and he has a lot of stuff on gut health, leaky gut, how to um, prevent leaky gut, how to how to heal it, and um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just working on right now healing my gut. So I'm not really gonna start out with counting macros right now. Like I said, I was going to, I'm gonna take a week or two just to get my health back, to restore my health and restore my gut, my gut health. And then I will probably start, start to count macros. Um, I have not had any meat at all these past four days. Um, I feel great. I might add in some salmon and cod, wild cod. Um, but that is it. I'm not going to add any, any other meat. And I'm making this my lifestyle. I have to, you guys. If you guys see me slipping, freaking better say something to me. Because this, this is, I'm, I'm declaring it right now. I want to be healthy. And I, this is when I feel the best, look the best, and, and I feel the best mentally and physically. And um, so this is just, and I, I truly love feeling my body properly. So, um, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing about, right now I'm doing about three veggie shakes a day with with protein, carbs, fats, all in those shakes. And then um, I'm doing about two meals, uh, like with eggs, asparagus, tomatoes, sauerkraut, stuff like that. I'm drinking bone broth. I'm doing it all to heal myself. And, and I'm not gonna stop doing this. I'm gonna keep it up. So I'm also gonna make, I think, a video of my daily rituals for you guys too, so you can see every single thing that I'm doing to heal my gut. Um, and a leaky gut video. So anyway, I have a lot of a lot of exciting stuff coming your way, and stuff that I'm going through that hopefully will benefit you as well. Um, so that's that. I'm really excited. I'm happy, and I'm just getting some work done. I'm editing a couple of YouTube videos for you guys, and then I have to go tan later. I might take you guys with me. It's it's a process when I have to go tan in Miami Beach. I have to get an Uber first. First, I have to shower and shave which you all know how long that takes and then i have to get an uber to my my place because i don't have a car and i can't walk because the humidity will melt off my spray tan hi y'all i'm going tanning 
I'm gonna go get an Uber outside and go get freshly spray tan. I'm so excited. I'm so fucking right. Oh my god, look at there he is. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Hi. How are you? Good. 